Hi everybody, I'm Flava Del Monte from FlavaliciousFitness.com and I am bringing you another Workout Wednesday. my workouts welcome um, we are doing some pregnancy workouts right now if you are not pregnant and you want some fat loss or muscle building or beginner exercises you can find me on YouTube it's Flavia Del Monte or at FlaviliciousFitness.com I have a number of uh, exercises a number of workout videos for you but for now for those pregnant women who are in your second trimester we are going to be doing some second trimester workouts so um, I'm just going to be continuing on from trimester one. We're going to recap on what things to avoid um, and then we're going to be starting on our workout. So the difference between trimester one and trimester two workouts is that we don't want to be lying on our back in, in the second trimester as we get bigger because we don't want to be putting a lot of pressure on um, our aorta or our placenta or too much pressure um, with you know the baby growing. Um, so we wanna try to avoid laying on her back at least, <coughs> excuse me, not for a long time. Another thing is we're gonna avoid all balancing exercises. So that's why I'm kinda carrying the stick around. Um, if you have a broomstick, something like this, so that when we're doing exercises, you can hold onto something stable. Um, you'll find that you will be dizzy, our blood pressure is low, and um, we just wanna make sure that uh, no injuries obviously are caused. And um, again, you don't wanna be starting anything new. You wanna consult your physician. You wanna be um, having your heart rate 140 or less, but make sure that you talk to your physician to see if that's appropriate for you because some women shouldn't be going that high. Um, you shouldn't be sweating. Um, stay hydrated, drink tons of water. Make sure that you're eating before and after each workout. And you wanna be lifting um, lighter weights during, especially during the second trimester. Um, I actually had to drop it down to about 50%. So. Um, you know, my doctor says no higher than 30 to 40 pounds. Um, I barely can even carry that, so, which is totally fine. So we're gonna be doing uh, some more lighter, lighter, yeah, lighter exercises, lighter weight exercises. And for sure, if you have um, a gym membership, doing machines is great because it keeps you in alignment and keeps you nice and stable, so on a steady surface. Most of the exercises will be seated. Um, and that's just for balance sake because it will be a little bit off balance. And I think that's basically everything that changes for the second trimester. So lighter weights, um, again, we're not gonna be stress, strain, straining ourselves, um, no high intensity um, exercises. I still do cardio, absolutely. I normally, because I feel so good in my second trimester, I actually upped my cardio. Sometimes I do 40 minutes, which is awesome. Like it feels so great. And sometimes I really, really want to push myself, but I have to remind myself that I am pregnant. Um, as soon as I get bigger, I'm sure that everything will totally change, but um, just be mindful of um, everything that's going on in your body. And with that said, let's start with circuit one. We're gonna be doing um, some single leg squats, but I'm gonna be using the support of this bar so that I don't fall. And um, again, this is exercises that work with me and my pregnancy and every single pregnancy is different. So make sure that you um, you listen to your body and you do what's right for your pregnancy and for your baby. So congratulations. I don't even think that I said that trimester one. Okay, let's start with uh, single leg squats. So I'm gonna be going all the way down to the bench with this. If you don't have a bench, um, maybe just a chair. Actually, a chair would be great. So holding on to the bar, normally I would tell you not to put a lot of evidences on the bar, but I want you to hold on to this. And we're just gonna be squatting down. I sit for a second and then I come back up. <laughs> just because I need that extra rest. <laughs> One other thing that changes is that we're gonna drop the, the reps as well. So we're gonna just be doing eight. Um, if you can do 10, awesome. 
I found that um, I had to drop down my reps a little bit. So for all trimester two workouts, we're gonna just be doing eight reps. So let's do eight reps on our other leg. Okay, make sure that you take a good 60 seconds of rest before moving on to the next exercise. Okay, so for our second exercise, we're gonna begin down on the floor and doing some um, hamstring curls with the ball. If you have a seated hamstring curl machine, which I don't, um, go ahead and use that instead. <clears throat> so we don't wanna be in this position too long as we get bigger. Um, I was talking about the pressure that um, you know your belly places on your body. So if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. I want to keep your hips nice and high. So I did 10 there, I felt good to do 10. If you don't feel good to do that, do eight. Okay, so moving on to our leg extensions, we're gonna be doing eight reps on the leg extension. And you probably have to drop some uh, weight from trimester one. I had to drop another 10 pounds. So as we curl up, we wanna bring the weight all the way up so that our legs are uh, parallel to the floor so that we get that full range throughout our quads. And we want slow and controlled movements. Make sure to breathe throughout the entire exercise. Okay, good. So that's eight. I'm going to rest for about 60 seconds, and then I'm going to go through all three of those exercises again, slow and controlled, and we're going to do uh, a total of three sets. Okay, so circuit two, we're gonna be continuing with our legs. We're gonna do an even lower step than trimester one, um, only because our balance is off. My blood pressure was really, really low when I went to my last doctor's appointment. So I wanna make sure that I am stable in every single exercise that I do. So if you feel comfortable doing it back up on a bench, for sure, go ahead. Um, I'm just doing a low bench and I'll probably add some weights as well just because it's so low. Um, we're going to be doing eight. And because this isn't a huge um, strenuous activity like an exercise. I'm not gonna do any rest periods throughout this circuit. Um, I've kind of combined these circuits so that I take less um, rest periods because I feel so good uh, c compared to my first trimester. So I'm able to do more. But I also wanna make sure that I'm doing everything very, very, um, you know, in a good tempo, and then I'm not exhausting myself. I don't wanna work up a huge sweat either, okay? So from there, I'm gonna grab a resistance band. Again, that didn't tire me out too much. So I'm going to step onto this band. These are one of my favorites. And we're gonna cross them in front. Bring them up pretty high, as high as you can, about shoulder level, and then just step out to one side and then bring it back. And you wanna do these kind of fast. And eight aside, if you feel good, keep on going. about 12 there 
And then we are going to come down to the floor and just pop our legs up. Do some glute extensions, some hip extensions. Okay, so I did about 12 reps during that set. My next set, I might have to take it down to 10, and then my final set, I might have to take it down to eight, just as I fatigue. Listen to your body. Um, we're gonna rest for about 60 seconds, and we're gonna go through that same circuit. Um, this, the low step ups, um, the side to side, lateral steps with the resistance band, and then um, the the glute raises or the uh, the hip extensions. So our last circuit is actually not a circuit, it's just um, one exercise and we're gonna be doing calves just to finish off the workout today. So to finish up the workout today, we're just gonna be doing some single leg calf raises. Um, because I don't want you to concentrate too much on balance, um, we're gonna be taking out our stick, <laughs> whatever the stick is to you, or if you just wanna hold on to something um, steady, and we're just gonna be doing some single leg calf raises. Same technique, we wanna do full range of motion, get up as high on your toes as possible, and then come as far down as you can. Concentrate on working that calf. Okay, so eight aside. And again, you want to make sure that you keep calves into your um, workout routine when you're pregnant because it's going to be holding a lot of weight as we get further along in our pregnancy. Of course, if that um, isn't steady enough for you, then go ahead and just use both calves at the same time. You don't have to do the single leg if you're feeling dizzy at all. Okay, so that wraps it up. Second trimester, video one. Make sure that you uh, like this up on Facebook and uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me your comments. Visit me at fiveliciousfitness.com if you have any questions whatsoever, or if you just wanna share your pregnancy story. I'd be more than happy to hear how your pregnancy is going. And um, all the best, we'll see you guys next week.